We got the media team in there. Where the media Where the media team? We got content. TV's in the go. We got TV in the go. You looking for that fire clubhouse content? Well, you need to subscribe to the home. Hey, yo, clubhouse TV. Let's get to the content. That's a good one. You ain't seen no music accolades from that nigga. Right. End of the day, it's like when I when I did the Cash Money West, he really got hot because I guess he was trying to get the Birdman years prior. So he like, well, whack. We at the same table. We ain't at the same table, nigga. When you question me about my studio, ain't no same table. The homies been pulled back from me from business. When you did that Breakfast Club interview talking about if you'd have been home. Death row, the homies wouldn't have been moving like that. Oh, the nigga saying if he'd have been home, he'd have shut down the whole death row. Nigga, you would have got killed. It's been the block. So check it. Once again, we got Wack 100 flaming up Big U and exposing exactly how he's a snake. So let's get to the content and listen to what Wack talking about. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Run the content. Been the block. And he came on the live and Diamond was like, yo, um, you know what I'm saying? That nigga whack. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't I wouldn't um trust the nigga, some shit like he said, you know what I'm saying? Pardon me, I, but I, it was something along them lines. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you can't fuck him, he gonna snake you and all that. He was like, Yo, big homie, I'm doing what I do. Da, 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 so he wanted to so he felt like he wanted to get to whack first, like a little hoe. Yeah, then later on. He was like, I, I heard him, I forgot the situation, but he was like, yeah, these niggas be hitting me up. They be talking about some, how smart I am and all this shit. They don't think I know. They trying to get me to push their narrative. I don't trust none of these niggas on YouTube. He was talking about them niggas. Nobody trying to, yeah, listen, bro, I don't need. No, not you, whack. He was talking about deucing them. I'm just saying, yeah, for real. I don't, but like I told him, I'm like, listen, man, I want to see all you little niggas come up. Whatever I could do for you, I do for you. I said, you the one got weird. I don't even know you, nigga. You got weird. But it didn't work. So now you want some advice. Why could you get me in any of these buildings? And can you put in a word for me? I'm listening to this nigga. This nigga got to be crazy. Yeah. Then he says, then he says, why could you make it right with Big U? Because, you know, I don't want him trip when he found out I'm talking to you. I said, make it right with Big U, nigga. What you got to do with Big U? Exactly. You know when you think he got shit to do with Big U because apparently what he was saying, like I was talking about earlier, they was trying to Damu and Keyway conversations was trying to push a narrative on them from Big U because you know they 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 shit is Big U. Like we can't cap about that, right? Right, Shay? That's a fact. If Big U holds, that's the face. That's yeah, the face. Big U is nobody. the one moving the strings. He the he the uh, puppet master. Wait, See, they think this no is a problem. They think that Big U is bigger than what he is in the industry. They don't realize that all that was unplugged when niggas left him alone. All you gotta do is pay attention to what he's doing in the industry. Well, I ain't gonna, no. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna not give the man his respects or whatever he put in. He you ain't put in he... shit as we the one open the doors for him. When I unplugged it. It was over with me and S Mac. All the people he know, all the plays, the fake plays, are the bloods pressing, and he pull up say today, nigga can't tell me nothing. He ain't never had a deal. Everything, all that come through whack radio, all that. When I when I stop him, nothing. Whack, whack, stop talking loud. I can hear nothing. <laughs> Not, show me, show me, show me his you know traction. Show me where it's at. You no know, when is listen every. From all the artists that used to do the shows for him, all that. Whack, whack, big bro, little bro, can you, little bro, can you, can you have a, can you, can you, can you, can you? Yo, this nigga T.I., he ain't, the nigga wouldn't even shout me out on Good Morning America. Bro, we need to, okay, what you want to do? He going to be in town, send your people at him. I'm going to show up and save him and run him back to all this shit. So, uh, wait, it, do you feel like he didn't give you your props and that's why y'all. He ain't no. gotta give me my props. The nigga don't I ain't gotta no give me my props. Give me your flowers, I paid, flowers. Listen, listen, listen. I'm. He had to come to me to get his mortgage paid. Hey, you Wack ain't, ain't got lying, them problems. Wack ain't got them problems. 
to get his son out of jail, to get it when he beat his kid after death, to get his kids out of CPS. This, that, this, that. It's come to whack couch with your head down. This why when niggas be telling these boogeyman stories, nigga, what? You talking about the nigga that come crying to me, talking about his name on the list? Whack, I'm going to need your people. Whack, I'm going to need this. Whack, could you this? Whack, could you get me out of town? That work with me. This. So you never you heard that nigga it? say one time, you never heard him say one time anything he did for Whack, any plugs he gave to Whack, nothing, ever. You never heard him reference shit. So you don't feel like he was a good friend? No, the nigga tried to snake me behind my back. You ain't never heard that story, Shay? He you tried to snake so me. Stories, what he won? What he won? Somebody on the other side. Well, when that nigga me. tried to snake me. What he won, though? He won. Oh, it ain't no deeper than nothing. I can show you on my taxi. One thing about me, I got all my phones. He know not to play with me. No, I ain't even start playing with him. Begging, crying, asking. Be checking him like nigga what you mean nigga i don't need you nigga you call me the matter of fact go your way i go mine but bro it ain't gotta be nothing like okay then nigga stop questioning me about this this and that this how it's gonna work whatever he was to that over there whack help empower that because he would show up and it looked like it was him but without it coming from me it never made it to them when i turned the water off it turned off have we ever asked you how that relationship actually started? Like from day one type shit? I don't know if you ever talked yeah, about bro, it. Yeah, bro, he was coming up I with just... Death Row. When he came home with like no fault. It was, they had to be he friends was, for a long time if he, he if was, Wax felt like he, it was his kind of like a duty to look out for one of your homies, somebody you cared about. We put the nigga, we set a table, yeah, we you, built the table. We built the table to protect the West. Nobody else had it. If you pay attention, from the, from the years of like 2006 <clears throat> on up to about 17, 18, wasn't no shootings at the studio, wasn't no shootings at the videos. You saw a bunch of Crippin' Blood Mix concerts, wasn't none of that. We set a table. He the nigga we put at the table on the Crip side for that area. We put Blue from Long Beach, Deco on the east side from East Coast over there, me, Wacko, Top Dog, it was a table we had set. And we would run certain artists to certain niggas so you control those artists. We do whatever we gotta do so you get favored. So when we needed it to happen, we had you gonna make it happen. And we put him in the seat. The nigga fuck because the homies pulled away first. They said, hey Damu, we don't know what's up with blood. You put him at the table. Blood went on the breakfast club and said if he would have been on the streets, death row wouldn't have been what it was. He'd have been moving on the homies. We ain't for him. They was mad at me because I wouldn't pull away from the nigga. This a fact. My bad. I missed that first part, but you said y'all met like this was 04? Like 04 when he came home. He came up to death row with corrupt. He immediately go to jail. He beat his son half to death. They take all his kids out the house and go to jail. Niggas bail him out, get him the legal beagle to get the kids back. Pa Rules did that. Then we put him in place on the shoe deal with Hurricane, and he made his first check, 80 racks. He go buy him a car. Infinity QX56, black, just like mine, the one I had. We put him in place. So yeah, basically that relationship was from, yeah, I mean, y'all was, like, Shay was kind of alluding to it. That relationship was attacked from, like, 04 era type, like, until that whole thing. Late 2000. And then, and then him and Suge get into it. Suge stop with him. Suge stop with him, like, 14. 13, 14. Suge stop for him. Yeah. Like, nigga. He don't bring nothing to the table. Everything is everything is power rule. We got cash money over there. You you got your shit going on. Ray J got the TV shit going on. 
you got all the homies, you and the other homies got everything together. He said, we're going to take this shit back to the yard. I said, no, nah, the nigga's a brother. I ain't going to cut him out like that. You tripping. Well, when did him and Suge get he back? He heard Suge on the phone saying it. He won. Nigga, the whack factor. The come together shit. That's why I was like, hold on, bro. What's this? This is weird. Suge, you calling this nigga a 06 nigga, and I'm telling you stop disrespecting me on the phone, bro. Any nigga know me, bro. No, I don't play that shit. Don't call me with no gang disrespect talk on the phone, because I might have to click over and talk to them niggas. I, I ain't with it. If you can't talk English, don't call me. I said, look, bro, stop calling me, buddy. I talk to the nigga every day. You want me to click over? You want to tell him that? Whack, we on the yard with it. You on your own with the nigga. They pull back from the nigga. So what? What's your relationship with Suge right now? Like at the moment? Baby, I'm not. You must be new. We not doing that. Because now you acting slow. You acting now, real slow. Now I'm no. I'm just being I'm real. No. You got to be asking me some dumb ass now shit like I, that. You, you act like you. we ain't never talked before. Uh -huh. That's not a video. It's just a question. But, but, for you to ask me that, hey, is anybody on the floor agree with me? That's kind of a crazy question to ask me. Like, God damn, I've been, I think I've been going over this shit right four years. That's crazy. You definitely trolling crazy. crazy. All right, hold on, yo. We don't got to answer. Hey, but the reason I was asking you that, though, because um, they have this narrative out there, too, and they push it as they're like, oh, because Big U said, quote, unquote, Big U saying they stopped fucking with you around 2016 when some paperwork came to light or something. You know what I mean? But then we we see on interview as late as 2020 going on like yeah, the what, you, what you talking about yeah, talking and about. things of that sort. So like it doesn't. That's why I'm asking. Well, nigga, I buried your mama. Thing. I buried your mama then. You didn't see the the interview Timmy Rue just did. Whack buried that nigga mama. They didn't have no money. Timmy Rue from the mob. No, I'm talking about big, big user response to this. When he talks about when y'all kind of fell apart, he, he calls nah, 2015. Nah, nah, we didn't fall apart. First time is when he called me about our studio. Want to use game room? And I said, you can't use game room. And we got it. Loose Cannon was in the car with the nigga, and I didn't know it. I checked him. I didn't know it. Loose just told me. It's like, hey, he said, whack. You know I was in the car on loudspeaker when you got at him, and he felt some kind of way because we heard it. He said, but the way you was getting at him, we know you been getting at him like that. Like, nigga, you ain't obligated. You can't use the studio, nigga. That's why. They ain't got to give you no explanation a reason. That's the first time we got into it. Don't ask me to use the studio, nigga. You can't. No, I can't ask game. You can't use it. That's the first time it was some friction. And then he got mad. But me and Birdman came together. Why? Because he had been calling Birdman for four years and Birdman was spinning him. Yo, whack. I need to see that nigga. I've been trying to get at him. Hey, bro, you're not finna get at that nigga on my watch. And you ain't gonna get at that nigga when he with me. Well, whack, the nigga was supposed to do. I don't know nothing about that, bro. You can't set up the meet? No. If you notice, right? 2018, when I signed Blueface, you see no mention of Big U around me and my artists. I cut him off with that. No more plugs. You don't see Blueface doing no songs. He asked me, could Blue do a song with my group OSP Negative? We ain't doing that no more. How the family? How your wife and kids? Whack always been whack. Hey, whack. I come home in 90, yeah, I came home in 99. He came home in 04. By the time he came home, whack sitting on a few M's. I'm up. Hey, yeah, and, and don't, hey, hey, whack, add this to this audio too, right here. You know what I'm saying? How you got them M's, you got that shit out of trucking, did you? Yeah, my first five million came from trucking and real estate. I didn't get I didn't get a real um contract with music until Sexy Canna era 06. When I took over 
Cash Money West in 2018. Big U is non-existent in any of that. Yo, let me ask you a question. Whack, like, yo, is, is Son's mentality on some predatory shit? Like all the time, he don't grind. Like he don't, he don't figure shit out. Or now I gotta come. Now I gotta like, come what, to what, him. What's up? What's up with him? Like well, how you thing, he gotta come to him. He's not smart. See, because of who he, the light we put on him, people will bring shit to him to get to us. So when they bring shit to okay. him, gotcha. he would call us and because he could not negotiate the business because he don't know shit. He knows how to do the football shit. That's what he, the shit he know how to do, you see him doing it. You ain't seen no music accolades from that nigga. Right. The end of the day, it's like, when I, when I, did the Cash Money West shit, he really got hot. Because I guess he was trying to get the Birdman years prior. So he like, well, whack. We at the same table. We ain't at the same table. Nigga, when you question me about my studio, ain't no same table. The homies been pulled back from me from business. When you did that Breakfast Club interview, talking about if you would have been home, death row, the homies wouldn't have been moving like that. Right? So what so, are you trying to say? Y'all was moving funny or something? Oh, the nigga saying if he'd have been home, he'd have shut down the whole death row. Nigga, you would have got killed. Yeah, that, there's a clip. He said that, that it, it would wild. be not He said that. The nigga said that in the homie strip. And they said, whack, we know you and him as brothers. We pull him back from the business. We ain't from no more. The cutoff was already happening. Hey, whack, when we talk about that, like, uh, the studio incident with the game, that's not the same as that bus right because i think you say you, you let him record on, on at your studio for his first uh episode oh, of the yeah, podcast it, it, yeah, there World was Star. a dude in north hollywood was building a studio he wanted me to go in business with him i went over there looked i said look bro i don't want to manage the studio but game on a bigger room it ain't too far from his old spot we at now if you build out one of these rooms for him make it exclusive to him all I need you to do is frame it. We're going to put all the decorations, the carpet, the equipment, speakers in there to be his room. I give you 150000 right now, cash, to build, finish doing your overall studio, but that's our room. I said, I'm going to keep it real with you. 12 months, don't send me no bill. After 12 months, you can bill me. He said, bet. Ain't no big you nowhere around. Ain't none of this shit. I get a nigga 150. I said, finish his room first so we can get him in there. Nine months after the play, I guess Big U pop up over there. Now, dude got six, seven other rooms. They ain't biggest games room, but they rooms. So I tell dude, under no circumstances, is anybody to be in games room. That's not wax room. That's games room. I don't even use it. So nine months later, he calls me. Hey, Wax. What up? Hey, uh, Big U want to know if he can use Game's room. Big U. The fuck is you calling me about Big U? Where you know Big U from? Oh, no, he been coming through here. This, this, that, and other. I said, nigga, can't nobody use Game's room. No. The fuck is you calling me about that for? So he tells Big U. And Big U called me. And then that's when we clash for the first time. Hey, 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 you what that, hey what, that, what, that, what that conversation? podcast in your parking lot after that? Cause I think that was before he did that. Yeah, USA, right? yeah. Well, I did that for Gilly. Gilly wanted to do that, right? That was before the E1 shit. Yeah. But if you, what I'm telling you is, at one point in time, we was plugging in with everything we was doing. The K Slay shit. That's how Nipsey got to New York. Why G called G Malone? Any of them niggas in there? They gonna say Whack was the New York radio plug. You hit Whack, he get you over there. Everybody know that. Kendrick Lamar, J Rock. YG, G Malone, all them niggas. Nipsey, first times on New York was whack pushing the button. Top dog can tell you that. Yo, how did you even get that plug, though? Because, I mean, you all the way on the me West Coast. Me and DJ Coast K. K Slay. 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 That's powerful over there. How, me, how and that Slay, start? me and Slay came together. All Star right, Weekend. That That's what I'm asking about you and Slay. Because that seemed like me a and Slay. Move, I know? sat out with Slay. We met. I made K Slay the A&R of Ray J's album. If you go look at Ray J's album, the Sexy Ken album, is going to say A&R DJ K Slay. 
I had him hosting the mixtapes, doing all the shit to get New York burned. He said, whack, let's build the bridge back that Suge tore down. I delivered it. If you anybody remember, I delivered Suge to him. Suge did an exclusive interview for him in the Straight Stud magazine. I was the vice president of the magazine. Anybody look at that magazine know it said BP Cash Whack 100 Jones. What it say? Right? So me and Slate come together. So Slate was seeing Pat Poops out here, a certain niggas out here. We give them, you know, do what they need them to do, get them where they need to go, get them up out of here safe. Right? Vice versa. So I start pumping the up and coming artists out here. Showing love, not charging them nothing. If you go to Google right now and put in Bridging the Gap, DJ K Slay, you're going to see Wack by himself. Not with 100 niggas. I take it into every neighborhood. Campanella Park, West Side Paru, Nickerson Gardens, East Coasts, Insanes. Me and him in my range. I'm taking him everywhere. The 60s. Back when the office was on 42nd and Crenshaw. Right? We all through there. Building the West back up. That's why I can't none of these niggas say nothing to this Valley nigga. Because it's the Valley nigga that went and got the plugs and brought them back. The nigga whack talking. He talking that shit right now. It's the Valley nigga. Nigga. And I didn't discriminate because the nigga was a crip or blood. If you was the best man for the job, I gave you a shot at it. The Valley nigga. The only reason why they hate on the Valley nigga is because the Valley nigga up and been up. If I wasn't up, and, and it wouldn't be a reason to talk about me. Wack, did you hook up the Hollywood shit too for him and Gilly? Like the movie shit? Nah, uh-uh. All I did was Gilly, but the part he kept, he'd fly in town and they'd be like, Wack. We just got here, it's 10 o'clock, we need a location. And I let them come to the studio. I'm like, pull up to the studio, turn your camera on like you're pressing me, and we're going to do a podcast. Just looking out for the niggas. They needed a location. Big U's first episode of Check It In, they had no location and no money. Oh, Pa Rule, I let him shoot it in the back of my studio. He did OT Genesis, Game. And he edited out True Car when we got into it after the E1 shit. That happened at my spot. Wait, it's so always you, been call whack. Damn. Call whack. This was after y'all got into it at the studio, right? Because he that incident happened with the game. No, this so. after this, this after the studio shit. You know, we got into it like, nah, nigga, you can't use a room. That's it. You gotta remember, then, bro. Okay. And then you still let you him re- in your at your studio on that bus. You got yeah. I mean, that's that's small shit to me. No, my no right. is no. I ain't got a reason to be bad, nigga. I'm the one saying no. Makes sense. Put it like this. Hold on. Where this shit at? The house. Chuck, you remember one day I was showing you the spread to one of my earlier houses? Yeah. Yeah, with the, all got, the, with the cameras and shit. With, <laughs> yeah. all, with all the shit in the backyard and all the shit, yeah. right? Yeah. She was big as hell. I, Listen, I brought that in 04. That's when he paroled. What that tell you, Chuck? I brought that the been year my daughter it. was born. The no, year my daughter big was born. Hell, bro, the year my daughter was born, I brought that. I was 26, 27. He just was paroling that year. I mean, do the math. Yeah. Wait, he's a little bit older right? than you, right? Right. He's 10 years older than me. Ain't no little oh, bit. Damn. That nigga 57. That's like 10 toes down age and shit. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, we don't talk about it. Hey, nah, Wack, I, mean, I gotta ask you this, shit, though. Yeah, I gotta, shit. like, a hey, Wack been talking that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Like, everybody, man, y'all subscribe to Death of the Cloud Chaser. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to um, Wack 100 Media Team. You know what I'm saying? The Honey Show. You feel me? Get it up, man. Get them subscribers up. Because at the end of the day, like, people can't deny what Wack got going on. Like, he showed me them numbers the other day. Like, that shit is, hey, Wack, you can't deny that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, like, listen, man. people lie, listen. numbers don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, bro. Listen, end of the day, 
Only look, he always had the popularity vote. He from a bigger neighborhood, and we gave him the shine, and we did it intentionally. We wanted him to look good, but it's just that I ain't look. The homies pulled away when he did that. That shit back then, they was like, "Whack, cut the water." I'm like, "Bro, I'ma holler at him about it." Me and one of the other homies got on the phone and hollered him about it. My nigga, what's this? I didn't mean it like that. This, this, this. Cause he made some comment about six nine and he talking about if he'd have been out death row, wouldn't have been moving the way they was moving. All this shit, whack. You know, bro, it ain't nothing like that. I said, homie, the homies ain't feeling it. They ain't ready to cut your water off. I'm a few. A lot of things that niggas was, you know, it ain't gonna happen. And that was his problem. He felt like cause he was from where he was from, he should have been in control. But you can't control nothing that you don't have control of. You don't even know what the going on. I told you niggas years ago, the nigga wanted me to rob Nipsey Estate. Y'all thought I was capping. Yeah, yeah, but you showed them messages. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, it's time. It's dated. May 23rd, 2019. So if this your little brother, why you want me to go after the estate? You see the text and I'm going to roll down on you. Six souls know that's how they talk. Everything rolling. And I even got this. What you giving it to me for? What's your reason for giving me you and Nipsey's contracts? After he did. Niggas go on mute though. Quick. He's a snake. Damn. You a snake, nigga. So, hey, whack. So, you been around him. Like, a lot of people want to know this one question, bro. Do you feel like he was a snake to Nipsey Hussle? He never liked Nip. Nigga, when Nip told that nigga, I don't think you fit my program, it was on. It was on. Bro, he went over there and put his hands on him. They didn't talk for like four, five years of crazy shit. Clubhouse, Clubhouse TV. TV. Clubhouse, Clubhouse TV. TV. Clubhouse, Clubhouse TV. TV. Clubhouse TV. Clubhouse TV.